Go for good your shoulder, Donnie. There you go. Lock. Now slide up. Slide up. And just sit to your left butt cheek. Go to your right butt cheek. Go to your right butt cheek. Yep. To your right butt cheek. All the way. Yes. Yes. Nice little switch move. Good. And then, for you remember rear naked chokes, we always want our head on the side. So if I have my right arm choking, I want my head on the left. If I want have my left arm choking, I always want my hand on the right. So I, I call it like, um, take a Facebook picture. Like, yeah. we're like buddies. I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, I'm right here. I want, I want my head on this side. I'm never going to choke a guy like this. Yeah. It would never work. Okay. So if my head's here and I can't move my head, I move my hand. Now I have a choke. See that? The only way to squeeze muscles is to have my head here. If my head's here, I could have a fully rear naked choke, uh, rear naked choke block. And if you just lean your head back slowly, yeah, like that, per perfect. Now I'm gonna squeeze you, ready? Don't use your hands. Just push your head back into my hands. Ready, go. I might be able to get her if I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting tired. He, I might be able to cut off the blood enough. But the difference is he could do that all he wants if I'm here and now he can put his hands up and there's no defense. I just, I squeeze and I have tons of power. So remember that too on defense. Like if you get a guy's head on the wrong side, push your head back so he can never get his head correct, correct mm -hmm. his head position. Okay. And it kind of hides the other hand, huh? What do you mean? Like when, with your chain, you can kind of hide the, the, the finish hand. So you mean like this one? You can kind of so I don't go for your fingers. You can hide it with your chin. No. With your chin? Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're you're, you're no, blocking right here. Yeah, so we can't get it. So that's a good point too. But so when you if my head's on the wrong side, move your head to the other. No, no, just move your head and lean back. Exactly. That's his. If he just does that, his hands can do the other stuff. Like if it was hooks, his hands can defend hooks. So a lot of times when a guy goes for the hooks, you get choked. Like your hands are playing with the legs and you're getting choked. But if you move your head to this side, I can't, now I'm, I can't choke you. And now you can just fight the hooks out, you see? And he's not worried about the choke. But the problem is when everybody says in self-defense class, right? They, they, and it's the same in supportive grappling. But what I'm saying is, is they'll say, the number one thing is the choke, defend the choke. So they put their hands up here. So they, they, they get, they instill fear in you to a point where he's so fearful of his life that he's pulling at the choke, right? Well, let's say my choke is improper, like my head's over here. And his brain though goes, the choke is the number one. My coach said, defend the choke. And he's over here and I'm, I'm watching this and I'm going, Donovan. Donovan, get out. And Donovan's not listening. Why? Because somebody told him that the most important thing is the choke. Is the choke even a choke right now? It's not. Your hands aren't doing anything. Just look at me with your face and pull your head away from me too. No, no, like, yeah, like that. And look at me. That, there's no choke. So that means your hands are now free to fight the legs and scoot your hips out. And then now turn. And if I stay here for too long, just turn on top of me. Yeah, and I'm like... Now I have his head. That was my choke. Okay. Very important to understand that. So another little thing. Let's go. Keep practicing. We're almost out of time. We got two more minutes. One, two, three. Right. Two more minutes. Nice combo. 